Good morning, Internet fans. Ryan Perry here, Simple Biz Support. Today is Wednesday, June 22nd. Therefore, it is Social Media Wednesday. And I have the lovely and talented Sarah Giametti back from vacation. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Ryan. How are you? I'm doing good. I hope you had a great time. Uh, you were spending some time back east with your daughter who turned 21. I was. So I'm I glad to see you're just wearing regular glasses, not sunglasses. I, I endured the South Carolina heat for her 21st birthday. All right. That's a good mom right there. Right. Uh, and speaking of enduring and heat in South Carolina, we're going to talk about Pinterest and weddings. I have no totally idea does, what the relationship yeah. is there, but I'm sure there is one somehow. Uh, specifically, as far as using Pinterest to attract a local audience, um, you know, we always, I think people are pretty well aware that, you know, if I want to do wedding planning or if I want to find a barbecue or if I want to whatever, uh, design ideas for home, you go to Pinterest, but typically that's on a global national level. I don't know how many people really think about it from a local level that, you know, we can actually target Sonoma County, which is a destination location for weddings because of all the vineyards around here and the beautiful coast and everything else that makes right. Sonoma County beautiful. But not, and not just for weddings, it's just utilizing Pinterest for your local audience, for the small businesses where you're not looking for a broad national audience. You want to, you want to get in front of the people that are going to buy your services, which typically are local in your at least County, if not just your city, and Pinterest also is indexed by Google. So it's kind of a double, it's a win-win. Not only if somebody's in Pinterest doing a search that's got some geographical information in it, you'll pop up there, but it'll help you be indexed for Google if someone's doing a straight Google search and it'll drive them to your, your Pinterest either board or pin, which could then drive them to your website. So it's a much more targeted attack if, the, if you happen to be on Pinterest and that happens to be your target audience. Okay, perfect. And so today you have three specific tips on how to make sure that your content has uh, local intent behind it. Right, right. So if you're using Pinterest, if it's your target market, and you're going, to, you're trying to find your local audience, the first one is adding geographical information to your profile. So if you go into your profile, go into the about us section where you can put your uh, what's about you and your company. Having your geographical information in there is an, a way for you to show up not only in the Pinterest searches, but in the Google searches. So for us, we would be we would put either Santa Rosa, Sonoma County, Roanoke Park, California. Uh, that way it narrows it down to the where we are. Make sure it makes sense. Just don't just throw keywords in there. Use it in a sentence so that because the humans read it as well. Uh, but you definitely want to make sure you've got your geographical information in your about us, uh, especially if you're your target audience is local. And that is a, uh, that's not like a field that you put in that says location. You're actually talking like in your bio, your description. Um, and the one thing that pops to my head is if you're going to do that is make sure that, that if, if you're doing this for search relevancy, make sure you understand what people are looking for. So if you're in Santa Rosa, California, as an example, then and that's you know people are searching for your service product whatever in santa rosa then go ahead and do that now we're using weddings as just kind of an example today uh so it might be sonoma county wedding destination or uh, you might also incorporate not only sonoma county but um wine uh, what is it? Wine, uh, wine weddings or vineyard yeah. weddings. I'm not sure. You have to do some keywords, but you know you could incorporate that also and take yourself out of your own head. Put yourself in your potential prospects. What are they going to search for? You know, we also have North Bay, San Francisco. You know, there's right. a lot of different ways that you could spin it around here. Yeah. So it does. It all depends on who your target audience is and what you put there. So you know, if we stuck with the wedding theme excuse me, it is a, a destination wedding. So you might want to have wine country wedding. However, if you're a local shoe store that's in Santa Rosa, then you're probably just going to do Santa Rosa shoes so that people who are looking for it, because your target audience are the people who actually live here. So definitely take yourself out of the equation and see who would be looking for you most likely 
you're a wedding venue, wedding planner, you're probably looking for brides coming in here as well as the local ones too, but we are a destination wedding area. So think outside the box a little bit, do a little bit of research and then have that as part of your bio in a way that makes sense. And it makes sense is that it reads well because people Correct. are going to be turned off if you're just keyword stuffing and it doesn't read well, people are going to be turned off. No. So make sure, yeah, make sure it makes sense. It reads well and you have it incorporated in there. You can definitely, if you've got a keyword, you can write a sentence around it and then you can write a paragraph around it. It's, it just takes a little bit of extra effort, but don't definitely don't keyword stuff. Okay, perfect. Uh, so I think we've got the destination location yep. part down. Um, so step number two or tip number, number two, two or tip number two is optimize boards and pins for geolocation. So if we stick with the wedding theme, cause it's an easy one on Pinterest and it's not all the Pinterest does by the way, mm. uh, but <laughs> as Ryan rolls his eyes, uh, having a board that is, you know, wine country destination wedding. So, or something like that, naming the board with that geographic or Santa Rosa, you know, wedding locations naming the board, naming the pins with a geolocation in it, that if somebody does that search either inside Pinterest search or on Google search, because the pins are indexed, then you have a higher opportunity of coming up for those local search results. That, and so, um, yeah, and one of the things I'm thinking is, is that since you can have, you have an unlimited amount of boards, you know, hit all those different keywords. If it's Sonoma County, then Hillsburg, and then Santa Rosa, recommendation is make sure the images are relevant to Santa Rosa, Healdsburg, as an example, Sonoma, you could do Napa County, Marin County, uh, whatever your geographic area is, because you're always going to be adding content anyhow. So I don't think there's an issue with having too many boards at that time. Not at all, because there's plenty of content out there and you can, that it's a way for you to segment it, that you only put Santa, Santa Rosa proper venues and and wedding ideas or, or other vendors possibly. So if you're a wedding venue, maybe pin stuff for a local photographer, or local caterer that are in the city of Santa Rosa on the Santa Rosa wedding board. And then you can go to Hillsburg, then you can go to, then you do the wine country where it's the, the actual vineyards, you know, so you can, you can still have a lot of content and have a lot of segmentation that would be appropriate to have the, the geographical information in the boards, in the name of the boards, in the names of the pins, so they right. come up. Okay. And then um, option or option. Yeah. Option number three. What else can we do? Tip number three is to repin and engage with other local businesses. So do your own search and find other local businesses to engage with, repin their stuff to your boards. And that way you're getting exposure to not only that you're exposing their content to your users and, and you're getting exposure to their users and it's a local, you're completing this local circle and you're getting engagement with other business owners where you can possibly build a relationship with. Yeah, definitely. And, and the smart thing is, is find people that overlap, but aren't direct competitors. And those are going to be some of the best relationships. So, you know, the wine in this area, I'm thinking wineries, I'm thinking catering companies, I'm thinking photographers, uh, dress shops, all those different pieces that go into the wedding example that we're working with is, um, you know, go out and search and find those people. And like you said, engage. And what's really nice is that when you engage often enough, you start building relationships. And from those relationships, you can actually start coming up with marketing ideas of hey, how can we work together to promote each other to each other's audience? And, um, you know, two is better than one type of deal. Which right. Is great. You can, yeah, you, you're that, you start building the relationship. You can do re start referring business back and forth because you guys have cohesively worked together. And this works for any industry. It works for a service business. Uh, you know, like for Ryan and I, internet marketers, we a graphic designer would be a great one for us, a web developer. You know, having a relationship with those people on online and finding local ones that we can help support and have a relationship with is a great way to build that relationship. So you can do it if you've got a product business, a service business. It doesn't have to be, you know, it's not Pinterest is more than just weddings. It is there are 100 million people that use it and it's indexed by Google. So if your target audience is fits that there's a lot of opportunity and creativity and think outside the box that you can do 
and utilize it to target a local audience and get some more engagement. Right, definitely. Okay, uh, so why don't we recap one, two, and three? So number one is add your geolocation to your about us section of your profile on Pinterest in a way that makes sense uh, you, using some targeted keywords. Uh, number two is using geographic location on boards and pins so that you're coming up for that search. So we use, we use the example wedding location, Santa Rosa. Uh, something like that. And then the third one is finding other local businesses to repin their content and engage with them to further build the relationship and, um, and exposure. All right. And so by doing these three things, you're going to give yourself a better opportunity to show up locally because you're basically meshing with what Google wants and is expecting. And also Pinterest, you know, I always... I'm always blown away by companies. You just look at their website and it says, hey, we're based in Santa Rosa. And then you talk to the business owner. It's like, oh, yeah, I'd like to be found in Roner Park and Petaluma also. OK, well, your website says nothing about Roner Park or Petaluma. So how is Google or anybody supposed to know that you are also servicing these areas? So it totally makes sense to have the same um, thought process when pinning content. Right. And p a quick thing on, p on Pinterest demographics, it's about 80 to 85 percent women, about 15 to 20 percent men. So the men's side is growing, typically affluent. So and they typically they tend to be I don't want to say older, but they tend to be more like the 25 to 45 crowd. And so they're a little bit established in life. At 25, you're older now. Well, huh? that, that's where I'm like, I was thinking more like the 30 to 50, probably like. Not, that's where I was like, it's not older, but it's not, you're not going after the young teens. You're not going after the tweens and right. all that. You okay. know, the, the millennials are, aren't quite on there. They're the slightly established, built in their career, a little bit more, they tend to be a little bit more affluent, uh, middle to upper middle class and higher. So if that, so it's not, it's not one to just go, oh, it's just women and recipes and weddings. It's, there is a lot more to Pinterest than that. And you've got the added bonus of being indexed by Google. All right. Okay, perfect. That is it for today's show on Pinterest. Sarah, as always, I appreciate the time and energy that you put into the show and uh, looking forward to talking with you next week on Social Media Wednesday. It's always a pleasure, Ryan. Thanks. All right, everybody. That's it for today's show. Thank you very much for joining us. Looking forward to talking with you next week.